You know, when I was watching this New Dawn trailer from Halo Studios now, there was one thing that I was listening to that I was kind of picking up on that sounded really familiar that we've heard before from these same people from Microsoft, from formerly 343, now Halo Studios, about how this is a new chapter, right? This is a new beginning. We're doing all this great stuff and it, you know, the new engines allowing us to do so much more with Halo, right? We actually got a lot of the same kind of stuff said to us back when they were working on slip space if you guys remember correctly and the keen eyed or keen memoried uh reddit user pointed this out so on the left side this uh user pointed out all the things that were said back in 2018 from their tech demo when they first showcased halo infinite and a lot of the same similar quotes that we got for the tech demo that we got for the unreal engine showcase from Halo Studios now. So we've read like the first one here for back in 2018 saying the engine demo is a clear indication of the direction we are heading with our next game and a great snapshot of where our tech is right now. I mean, sound a little familiar, right? If you go back over to what they're saying right here now is that with the comes to Halo Studios and Unreal Engine now saying it isn't just an exploration of what's possible with this engine. It's a true reflection of what would be required for a new Halo game using Unreal and a training tool for how we get there. So you can kind of hear the similarities, right? Obviously, it's not exactly one to one of exactly what they're saying here, but you get a similar type of vibe, right? This is what I was kind of hearing when I was first seeing this trailer. When I was kind of thinking about this and then I watched it again, I'm like, hey, this this lot of this sounds really familiar, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> and if you kind of go back over here to uh, like the next phrase uh, they were saying for the for what back when they said back in 2018, talking about the slip space engine, saying we are taking the time we need to make the game right and we're making changes to how we approach things this time around. The goal of the entire 343 Industries team is to make a great Halo game for our fans <laughs> that also invites new players to our franchise. Um, gosh, man, like looking back at those words now, what, five years from now, later? Um, yeah, <laughs> their time, uh, I don't know if it was really, they definitely took their time to make it, but I don't think it was a, a proper utilization of it. And then compared to, compared to that similar type of sentiment that we see now for Halo Studios in 2024 saying, at the end of the day, if we build the games that our players want to play, that's how we'll be successful, explains Van Wick, one of the new people over there at Halo Studios. Then that's what should motivate what we build. That's also what this structure has done. It's the structure as in like what they're doing and how they're making the next Halo game kind of stuff. So again, the similarities, man, are a little too similar, right? When it comes to then and now. Look, okay, obviously, the big difference is the engine itself, right? Uh, we've heard, you know, I've reported this multiple times. I've talked to multiple developers about that 343, and they've talked about this saying the major pain point when it came to making Halo was the slip space engine. Because even though it's called slip space, it's still, it's built on top of the classic Blam engine that Halo's had for its entire franchise. And they talked about this in multiple blogs before the release of Halo Infinite, right? Where they were saying how uh, they were you're finding all this old code that was just kind of buried within the systems like way, way, way back then, like 20 years ago, and reworking them for the live service, new uh, open world Halo game that they were making at the time. Uh, you know, obviously they're gonna try to gas it up as much as they can to try to make it like we know what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is that the, the major difference obviously is that Unreal, we all know that it just works, right? It's a industry standard. So many games are being built on it right now. Unreal is an engine that has been, you know, been the basis for so many classic franchises out there to take advantage of. And so this is what this new uh, tool set, this new uh, 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 engine, I'm sorry, of uh, Unreal Engine definitely just gives the developers the ability to just start get in there and start digging in and start making some content, right? Because that's the biggest thing that we, you know, us Halo players have been so sorely missing is just like stuff to do with Halo. We love Halo. We want to keep playing it. But the thing is that like 
the development of it is so has been so slow and it's taking you know forever for them just to get the game up and running and then having the game go live before it was ready to go live just kind of made that transition or those updates go even slower right but hey the game needed to get out it was gonna release at some time we can't wait seven years between halo titles right so i think that's kind of like why infinite release in the state that it did because they just kind of viewed like hey man there's so much more work we need to do it's never going to be where we need to be just put it out there and we'll make it work somehow you know so i think that's kind of what they decided to do with uh infinite right there but if we kind of go back to the last quote for the similarities here between the slip space engine and unreal and we go back over to the screen here for you guys we're on the left side back in 2018 saying in the future, you'll be able to join early flighting programs that will let members of the community play the game with us and give direct feedback, much like the current insider flighting for Halo Master Chief Collection. Fast forward five years later, or, six, or is it technically six years? Yeah, I think it's technically six years, right? But, oh my God, we've been talking about Halo for way too long on this channel. They said, we're seeking earlier and earlier, wider and wider feedback from our players. She continues as in Van Wick. Uh, we started that with the Master Chief Collection and carried that forward to Halo Infinite. And we want to do it even more with our next project. So, I mean, yeah, like repeating the same kind of thing again, but the whole point of having like this early access process when it came to like, especially flighting was to give actual feedback and, you know, give the developers time to update the game. So when the game does fully release that it's ready to go but clearly we did not exact clearly we didn't get that with halo infinite right uh from someone who played all the flights for infinite back in the day uh it felt like a lot of it was more just like minor tweaking kind of things nothing that was really that significant like we would point out like glaring flaws like something's overpowered or things are not quite balanced or this thing's kind of broken uh three for three was just kind of like well we hey, it's we are where we are right now i think it felt like most of those flights were just kind of making sure is the game broken? Is it not broken? Then we can release it. If it is broken, at least have at least have enough information to go into like what's causing the breaks to happen. That's really what the flighting program really, really kind of felt like. Yeah, you know, like yeah, there were some minor changes here and there that have been made, which were significant enough to the gameplay. Uh, but I wouldn't say that the flighting program was like a massive success or was like a great way for players to really change Halo into the vision that the community wants the game to be. Uh, so I think there, but there, you know, there is a little bit of a balance between what uh, Halo Studios wants Halo to be and what the community wants it to be. Uh, and so there's a fine balance that they need to figure out, like, how do they actually go about doing something like that? Um, and so, I mean, I'll be there. I'll be ready. If there's a flighting program for whatever next Halo project is, uh, I will definitely be there jumping in and playing it as soon as it does go live. Uh, but guys, again, if you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a green heart. Let me know who the real ones are out there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap like and subscribe. Guys, we have so much hail stuff going on right now. We're going to be talking a lot about it with all what's, what's coming up next and what to look forward to when it comes to Halo. So if you guys like this type of videos, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Catch all these videos if you missed anything from me recently. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.